consultation aucune et sans passer par le dialogue ou des mesures intermédiaires, les pays membres de la CDAO et de l'UEMOA ont décidé immédiatement de prononcer des sanctions aussi sévères contre un autre pays membre, le Niger. Allant jusqu'à confirmer. Abdullah Man Tishiani, also known as Omal Tishiani, born 1960, is a Nigerian military officer who is the president of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland, the military junta of Niger. He had served as the chief of the Nigerian Presidential Guard since 2011 to 2023. He played a key role in the 2023 Nigerian coup d'etat by detaining former President Mohamed Bazoum. On 28th July 2023, he announced himself as the leader of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland. The junta that took power two days prior his coup has triggered the 2023 Nigerian crisis. Abdullah Mantishiani is from the Tila Beli region, a main recruitment area of the Nigerian army in the west of the country. He is a member of the Hossa people. He joined the army in 1984 and studied at the National School of Active Officers in Ciel, Senegal. Before becoming commander of the Presidential Guard, he led forces in Zinda Agaz. Agadez and Difa regions where he combated drug trafficking. In 1989, he was the first officer to make it to the site of the UTA Flight 772 crash in the Tenele Desert, for which he was decollated. He also served in UN peacekeeping missions in the Ivory Coast, Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. He also served in the multinational joint task force set up by Niger, Chad, Nigeria. Nigeria and Cameroon to fight Boko Haram. In 2011, Tishiani assumed command of the presidential guards and was a close ally of the then president Mohamed Isofu, who promoted him to general in 2018. In 2015, Tishiani was accused of involvement in a coup plot against Isofu but denied the charges in court. He was otherwise seen as keeping his views to himself during that time. In 2021, Tishiani led the unit in an attempted coup at the time a military unit tried to seize the presidential palace two days before isofu stepped down to make way for his democratically elected successor mohammed bazoum who retained tishiani in his post On 26th July 2023, Tishiani led the presidential guards in detaining Bazoum in the presidential palace in the capital Niamey as part of the 2023 Nigerian coup d'etat. The coup was reportedly led by Tishiani, whom allies said Bazoum had planned to relieve from his position. Sources close to Bazoum said that he had decided to on Tishiani's dismissal at a cabinet meeting on 24th July as their relations had reportedly become strained. On 28th July, Tishiani proclaimed himself as the president of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland in an address on state television. He said the coup was undertaken to avoid the gradual and inevitable demise of the country and said that Bazoum had tried to hide the harsh reality of the country, which he called a pile of dead, displaced humi humiliation and frustration. He also criticized the government's security strategy for its purported ineffectiveness but did not give a timeline for the return of civilian rule. His coup has led to the 2023 Nigerian crisis. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload new videos. Peace.